Hey, what's up, everyone? We're back playing some Pharmacy Simulator. Let's get started. Okay, <clears throat> here's what I'm thinking. We have vitamins at the back of the store down this wall. We have all of the products, all of this space. And then we have supplements at the corner. So in this corner and eventually when we get the other store in that corner, and then have all the pharmacists here because the, the what's important about the pharmacists is I can't put the pharmacists there and put the meds here, right? Because they need to walk to the meds. It wouldn't make any sense to keep the pharmacists far away from the meds. So unless I wanted to have each of the pharmacists like, okay, so pharmacist one there with shelves there, pharmacist two with shelves there. But then the problem is I would have to stock each pharmacist separately, which is a pain in the butt, especially if I want to have one shelf for one drug. So I think what's going to be more important is having all of the shelves like down the back, have the pharmacist in the middle. So it's kind of the optimal distance for them to walk. Again, if we're talking about completely optimal, it would be best to have one pharmacist for one shelf for like one set of shelves, another pharmacist, another set of shelves. But again, I'm not going for extreme full you know efficiency here as long as i have all the shelves all the pharmacists here so okay anyway i think that's the plan i'm gonna go ahead and start working on it i'm gonna try to get it all on camera we'll see if i get bored of talking but okay i have to figure out the logistics of how i'm gonna move everything around thank god i haven't moved everything in already but i think what we'll start with is just having the vitamin shelves in the back so I'll have to move these for a hot minute. And then the other thing, I'm going to have to wait for a lot of these products to sell off of the shelves. Because <clears throat> obviously, if I want to redo the shelves to have one product for one entire shelf, I'm going to need to have the stuff on it sold. So another plan of mine might be to actually just AFK a few days and wait for the products that are there to just naturally sell. So I don't have to deal with them. Can we just put these in the, oh, seriously, I can't put them. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, this is a good spot right here. Yeah, I feel like there's not like too many exciting things to say during these parts of the gameplay. I mean, it's just a lot of movement. Okay, which one of these made in Turkey? Hey, that guy got his hair transplant from Turkey. Okay, supplement stand. I need the vitamin stands. I can't tell I can't tell where the vitamin stands are. Did I buy it? I swear I bought vitamin shelf. Is it like one of these up here? Yeah, this is a vitamin shelf. Okay, so I can't put it there. Let's not do the snap. So where can I put it? It's about right here. Okay, how far? Oh, it lets me it lets me go a good distance here. Okay put the and then yeah i might need to buy a few more because i didn't i didn't buy a whole lot of these okay, this is a supplement so let's go ahead <clears throat> it's going to be really important for me to just place things back in the box because uh once i take them out of the box it's hard to put them back in the box and everything is just much harder when done that way see oh hold on okay hold on this one's i forgot that when you come up to this little bump it's it's gonna i actually have to move this shelf a little forward compared to the other one <clears throat> yeah because i did the same thing with this one so you know for the sake of consistency <clears throat> let me go ahead and move this one a little forward okay can you can we snap okay we can start snapping here i guess we don't have to do the entire store just a little bit of it okay um okay this might be my last vitamin stand though yeah, okay. So I guess let's start working on the rest of it. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold your freaking horses. I totally forgot that these <clears throat> will also need to be moved. Because where this is right now, I'm planning to have product shelves. Now, we'll see. Maybe I can somehow mix in the supplement shelves, too. We'll see. First, honestly, we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and take this... Ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Again, I started exercising this week. So, uh, my body is getting used to that. I mean, look, we take this step by step, okay? That's how I am in real life, too. Just step by step. Uh, okay. 
So I'm wondering, do I have enough room for like just products down here and then and then supplements after? See what I'm thinking. Okay, so let, let's give let's give this a whirl. Okay, why can't I move this? Okay, maybe I need to move all the other ones out of the way first. Hold on. Come on, come on. Maybe I can just have like three separate rows, kinda. The big thing is I don't want to impede on the pharmacists, but I also want this to be like overall kind of effective. I mean, I think you guys know what I'm trying to say here. Okay, so let's say we go ahead and flip this around. How close? See, I don't know why it. It's so far away. Let me try something, because I'm very curious about the hitboxes. Is it just a vitamin stand that just kind of sucks? Yeah, apparently the vitamin stand just kind of sucks. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well now that we know that it's just the vitamin stand, and it's nothing personal against the supplement stand, I guess we can just go ahead and put that seek is that the absolute okay apparently that's the absolute closest we'll get right there okay so now we have supplements and then maybe can we just uh, okay well this is way too close oh i don't know why some of those it's not allowing me to move of course i have something come on david bro get your stuff together i just like just put this down, please let me just put it down. So, actually, and this is good. Maybe if I get a few going here, it'll help. Because I was like, I'll clear out this little bit right here. And of course, we'll have to avoid doorways, but that's fine. Actually, we can just probably open that up. Okay, so have that running all the way down. And then maybe have the shelves. Bro, no way I still didn't move the one that I wanted to move. I'm a little goober. Okay, I don't need that room for it. Okay, that's that. So we just have that running down the entire store. And then maybe we can even have another set of product shelves over here. I think that might be the best way to do it. And that way it's also like infinitely expandable into, not infinitely, but you know what I mean, like expandable down yonder. Okay, so let's do that. And then we'll have to also wait for everything to sell off the shelves here. Let's put snap. Is it not snapping? Why are you not snap? Oh, do the product shelves not snap? Did I forget that these just don't do that? Okay. All right, well. Sorry, we'll get through this slowly but surely. Yeah, we just got a lot of moving parts all of a sudden, so it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I think we've kind of got what we want to do here. We've got the game plan. Now we just need to move everything in place. And <clears throat> again, what's going to be nice is when I open up that other part of the store down there, it'll be so easy to implement it because we just follow the same pattern. And that's kind of what I'm looking for in here is making things just a little easier wherever possible we'll have to figure out these doorways that's the that's the last big thing to really figure out is what i want to do with these doorways because like do i want that hanging like that i don't see it's not that much of a nuisance okay let's get these boxes out of the way now that we have kind of a little space over here to put them and let's see what we can do about the door situation if you know what i mean Let's just get all of these. Because, yeah, the doors are really the biggest obstacle here. Because in other games, you don't really have this such a large area. So, I also want to think about the pharmacists, though. Right? I want to have aisles. I don't want to have just, like... I don't want it to be completely blocked off. So, I'm thinking I might as well have the holes where the doors are, right? That's just, like, it's natural. Because... Uh, I could put something here. But then what's the point? So why don't I just make like a natural hole in the shelves? Wherever the doors are. So let's just like... You know, right here. Okay. And then we just keep moving. 
But the big thing before I... Let me just place a few more. But then I want to try the supplement shelves and make sure that fits like I think it should fit. So let's take this supplement shelf. Are you going to fit like I think you should... F oh, that can actually go even farther. But I think that'll be way too much in the door at that point. Okay, so at what point... So that's good there. What do you mean? What What doesn't it like? It's good here. Does it? It might... Is it more room? Do I have to move do I have to move these back a little bit? Let me make sure I'm giving it enough space here. So look, that line is directly on this thingy. If anything, I'm giving it even more room. I think maybe and this is exactly why I did this before laying out all of the shelves across the board because I knew something like this might happen. Let's try the other way around. Let me try the supplement stand first. Okay, so let's just see. Okay, so let's, where is? Okay, so that is, I'm confused at the spacing here. Why is that one? Oh, actually it's not even that much farther. It looked a lot worse from that angle, but yeah, I guess that's not completely different. But I'm scared that little bit of space will actually block me from having a second, yeah. So like, let's just say I wanted a second row of shelves here. That'll completely block me from doing that. I mean, maybe with the length of this, I actually won't even need it. And now I'm starting to rethink these supplement shelves. Will I really need more? So I got, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, for the vitamins, they don't sell that quickly. I could. If I can add two on this end, I could almost just put product shelves in spots like this. Now, again, this will kind of break the workflow, but let's see, there's not enough space at the end there. And you know what? What am I thinking? I might as well, you know, have the days going. I need these products to come off the shelves. I might as well open the pharmacy for that to happen. Okay. <clears throat> no matter what I do, I can't fit 12 in here. I think the solution might just be to have, like, half a shelf of just two of them. Which doesn't make me too happy. But look, I mean, I, it, these vitamin stands, like... For some reason, the hitbox is broken. I would love to just try and avoid that. You know what I mean? Like, if I have as... The vitamin shelves specifically not have a whole lot of, because they just... They take up a lot of extra room. Okay, so if we're going to go with just that being vitamins... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could have, like, both ends be the supplements and then you know let me just go ahead and sell these and then when we expand i just kind of shove the supplements to the other end and you know what i can do here let's just sell both of these two and hey we even get a little money back i don't mind a little money back you know what i mean a little geico action okay i definitely want two supplement like, I want this to be facing each other. So maybe we'll have this on both ends. The other thing we could do, because I don't really like that angle. So we could just add a few more on the sides like this instead. So then we could still have the product going down. Now the problem is I won't be able to add a third. Yeah, three is too much. I think doing that would just... I mean, technically, there's nothing stopping us from doing that. But maybe at that point... I, mean, I guess I could just block this. Because, to be honest, I'm not going to use the warehouse, like, right now. I almost don't even mind just blocking it. Just to add a, add a seventh there. 
then I mean it already it's an upgrade right I, I don't want to complain about an upgrade so that's fine put that there okay so we have no room for two more you know what we could do though and this actually is an are these all supplement shelves these are all product product is there any more or is that all my supplement we could put one like right here Nah, but then that'd be that weird space. Actually, I don't want to do that. Okay. Alright, I think now... Let's start playing with these product shelves. How close can the first one get? Oh my god, that is so far. I don't, I don't know why it makes it so far. Okay, so I think that is... Yeah, that's the most... Yeah, and I think we should probably line it up. That'd probably be the best idea. Just for everything to look. Oh. Again, I always forget that these do not snap, actually. I have to line these all up manually, which is a shame, because these are the these are the ones that I'm going to have the most of. Oh, I would love if these just snapped together. That would make things so much easier. But now, I will also have the ability to put them back to back just like this. So that'd be like... A lot of coverage going down the whole way and then I could even but I'm like scared I'm gonna get a person stuck so when we come across the aisle here let's see let's put it because we could you know maybe we could add another one. Oh, actually the thing doesn't even stop me I assumed I would have got stopped by the door but apparently not okay so we do have Quite a bit of, because honestly, I could even put, I feel like that's not, it's not anything too crazy right there. I'll put another one in. Just look at that. Okay. So we can kind of keep expanding these. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of product shelves here. Put one behind and then we have almost the option of putting like a third layer too. Like, let me let me try to play with the third layer. So the third layer would be like right here. Oh, that actually that might not be enough room. Let me just finish this end though. Bang. Okay, and a good thing we bought a lot of product shelves because we're going to need them. But look look at our money already. We're our money is getting given back to us so quick. I mean, right now I have so much product on the shelves that i mean i i'm gonna be able to keep playing for a minimum of like two or three days without basically running out of everything i'll run out of a few things but not everything probably the non-controlled meds i'll probably run out of but that's fine i wonder if i should also leave one hole here <clears throat> i don't think so though i don't think there's any need for it let's just place this first one and then we'll start grabbing the shelves from outside. Yeah, I don't know if I'm overestimating the amount of shelves that I need, but I feel like I'm not. There's a lot of products. Like, a lot of products. Especially, this, I mean... Yeah, I don't... We might be overdoing it, but I really don't think we are. Um. Okay, so I was thinking about adding another row of shelves here, but... Yeah, I don't know if the pharmacist will... Here's the thing. I could end up putting shelves on the sides here. But I don't know how many of the actual pharmacy shelves I'll need. So for now, we might stick to... I'm going to put this back in the box, bro. Ah, uh, drop box. Okay, there we go. Maybe we'll stick with this little setup here. Let me try to get up high and see what it looks like. Yeah, so supplements on the on the sides and the back. The, or the vitamins up front. Products over here. I feel like I could use some more product shelves, though. Let's count how many products we have. This will actually help in determining like how much we actually need. I feel like I haven't done that. So let's see. We got three, six, seven, ten. Oh my God, we're ten, thirteen, sixteen. 19, 22, 25, 28, 
31, 34, 37, 39. We have 39 products. So that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's 22 plus six. 22, that's 28, and then 28, 6, that's 34, and we have 39, so we need 5, okay, so we need to fit in, again, this will be much easier when we open it, but just for now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we need to figure out where to put in 5 more shelves for the sake of expand, I mean, here's one easy one, I can just put one right here. Yeah, we, on both sides here, we can add one. I think we can even put another one in here. I guess maybe what I'll end up doing is putting one there. Forgot, what are my... I bought five boxes. What are these other things? Oh, I only bought five. Oh, did I buy some more earlier? So this is four. That is four. We just need to make room for a fifth over here somewhere. Which, I mean, to be honest, we could probably just... Yeah, we could add to this side. No easy peasy. And that's enough space to walk. They really need more space to walk than that. And then we'll just add an extra shelf for pizzazz here. Oh, can you move out of the way? Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think we're, I mean, realistically, maybe we can even, we can make a, like a hole here, but it's fine. We won't do that now. For now, the important part is we have all of the product shelves that we need. Go and drop the box in our little storage area. I know we have, I think we have a storage area over there that I'm not utilizing, but it's okay. We don't have to talk about that. All right. So next up, I should maybe fund... Oh, and actually, we need a place for these weights, too. These I could probably put, like, right here in front of the pharmacy. They, they might squeeze in between. Let me buy some more pharmacy shelves. I think that's the next good idea, just to maybe fill the back wall. So, pharmacy, let's buy... I don't know, 10? How much is that? Ooh, okay, 3,500. <laughs> um, not a small amount, but it'll do. And then this is a worthwhile investment as long as my stuff doesn't break. If my shelves break and I have to throw away all these shelves, then yes, my investment would have been poopoo kaka. But I'm hoping I can just play the game and it not break on me and will be hunky dory forever and ever and ever. I could potentially also buy a fourth pharmacist, but I think that'd be getting a little crazy. But see, like, why is this guy getting no people? Like, in this case, I don't want to buy a fourth pharmacist, because you're not getting no people, bro. Alright, uh, ten more shelves. Why not? Spend this money. And then, look, let's just say, nightmare scenario, the shelves break. Screw it, we'll just place meds wherever we can and call it a day. There's so many shelves, I've got to be able to fit all of them that I need, right? Yeah, it's going to take a bit of time to fill each one up completely. But I'm telling you, bro, once I have everything completely stocked... Oh, it's going to be juicy. Okay, so that's perfect. All the way down there. We might have to move these boxes. Luckily, I think we have some nice... You know what? I could potentially... Mm, man, should I put these on the shelf? I feel like I shouldn't. For the sake of me trying to clean up everything, it's like counterproductive to put things on there just for, you know, to have to wait for them to sell. Well, uh, I guess I don't... Eh, but I want to. I don't want. I want to put the shelves over here, man. Maybe it'll let me put my first shelf. Let me check. There we go. That's all the shelves. Look, all the way across with a little space for my computer, of course. Okay. Uh, real question is, what do I do about these pharmacists? Do I? I think I still keep them in the middle, to be honest. But the middle means something a little different nowadays. So let's go ahead and move this. Yeah, like I don't know. Maybe like right here. There we go, line it up with that door. You're, wait, hold on. Are you aligned with this door? Let me, okay, let me let that person have their transaction. 
you know let me go ahead and move you back over here just so like the actual model isn't interfering okay let's put you like the start of it yeah like right okay actually i can just follow the tiles the tiles make it easiest bam right there okay see it's lined up with that one right there we're gonna have oh there's stuff in the way like usual it's so weird i don't know what happens like over here the game doesn't like maybe it's just the middle of the store it doesn't like no, at this point i'm like tempted to hire another pharmacist just to get this symmetrical i think he'll be more useful on this end though because so many of the non-prescriptions sell so fast i'm gonna put him definitely closer to this end okay uh, is it preferred well, actually, you know what I can do? Just for the sake of consistency, we can at least make this place useful and put the weights here. Right? Since we're going to have a space. Again, I could just hire a fourth pharmacist too, but... I mean, these are going to have to go somewhere anyway. And I could even fit in another supplement shelf right there. We have the room. Might as well utilize it, right? Okay, I was like, ooh, I didn't mess them up, did I? It's gonna get scared. Okay, please. Medications, don't be switched, please. Okay. Okay, my medications are fine. Whew. Okay, I had a, a minor heart attack. I thought I glitched something real bad. Okay, do I have enough room to walk? Okay, I do have enough room to walk. Alright, maybe we'll just leave those there. A little unsymmetrical, but I think it works. Can I not sell this? Oh my god, I can't sell this. Why is this non-sellable? That makes no sense. I'm just gonna put, just put one more right here then. The the real, I don't know. I don't know. If you're so obese, maybe you can't fit here. Maybe just use this one. Alright, there we go. I think we're pretty much rolling. Now, here's my other question now. Do I have a product? I wonder if I can fit other things in there. I don't know. Okay, this is a product shelf. Perfect. Can I fit? I could technically put a product shelf like right here. I just don't think it'd look very good. But I could definitely fill like another one like over here. And then I wouldn't be able to put in... Actually, maybe I could even do like another double-sided one. Let me buy five on this side. Oh, I have, like, no money. Okay. Well, let's open the pharmacy and... Okay, I might be at the point where I might be spending too much. And I might have to start selling for a little while because my supplements are, like, gone. Yeah, I might need to focus up here. So maybe this whole product business can wait a little while because I can add more products here. In these two locations but until my pharmacy shelves are even fit like right now I currently I have enough shelves for every item in the game to have its own therefore I should focus on just first filling these and then making use those extra shelves for different things and then even like I could buy more supplement shelves one here one there but all that will take money and um yeah i'm kind of getting scared now where we might i think we might need to just restock a little bit but i also need to wait for things to sell too i guess we can just start with supplements and meds because i still have so much of this product yeah maybe we should just start with supplements and the shelves okay everybody i just realized something massive and I actually, I feel slightly embarrassed and dumb. So inside of here was that, this wheelie thing. And I thought, well, that's stupid. I don't need that because I'm not getting anything from the warehouse. It's kind of useless. Yeah, it's, the warehouse is useless. This thing is not useless. Look, I can order a whole bunch of things and put, put it all on here. 
And then I could take all of this to the shelf. Like, I've been low-key sleeping on whatever this is. Yeah, now I just take all of these, and this is all one single drug going to one single shelf. Okay, might be a little tight. And then I take this, open it. Yeah, like, okay, so I've been sleeping on the warehouse, and that's fine. Now, question is... Okay, so I can put the empty box. Dude, this is an absolute game changer. It, okay, how do I... Okay. There we go. Like, this will make stocking larger quantities actually a million times easier. I don't... Like, again, it's... This is something that is, like, pretty embarrassing, actually. The fact that I didn't realize that this thing was useful. Because, I dude, I was so stuck, like, narrow-headed into... Uh, the warehouse sucks. Yeah, it does suck, but it does suck. But there was a tool inside of it that is crazy useful. I would have had to make five separate trips for that right there. Wait, can I sprint? Oh my god, I can even sprint with it. And then I just go here. Drop the cart. And just go bink, 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 bink. Oh my gosh, how... Dude, how have I just figured this out? Oh, I'm a buffoon. But okay, well, hey, now that we know... I, dude, I can't lose this. This thing's like the most valuable thing in the world. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep stocking shelves. All right. Hey, uh, we're back with Pharmacy. I've got a lot to show you guys. I've been working quite a bit. You could probably tell by the mess of boxes outside. But the store is essentially done. I've got one shelf for every product or actually even multiple shelves. So let me try to get you guys... Maybe a better look of what the place looks like. So this is the pharmacy currently. Now let me give you um, a little house tour. So in the back here is all prescription meds. As you can see, I have one shelf for each of them. I did have to extend to have some shelves in these corners to fit everything. But everything does fit. We've got the controls over here, which I know I'm running a little low. But each of these is like $1,000, okay? I need to make a little bit more money. Uh, and then this one I need to buy. But as you can see, I have all of the meds. In at least one spot with nothing missing and then we move over to the sides we have our supplements which once you, once again is i'm that that's actually what i'm doing right now is i'm refilling the supplements but i just needed a bit more money so i started another day but as you can see we have all the supplements on both sides in the back here we have all of the vitamins which are nice and refilled i have the b6 over here but that's just because i don't have enough room for one more and all of the products are done this is probably what took the longest so starting from here Go all the way around we have this these five over here all the way around over here and over here so every single product has one entire shelf all the medications have an entire shelf supplements have multiple shelves vitamins have their own shelf too so yeah anyway that was the big goal to be honest for a very long time of just having one shelf for each i have enough inventory on these shelves to make me all a lot of money especially with these products i mean these product shelves are 100 percent almost completely filled it's the supplements that are lacking a little bit vitamins are gonna last me a long time and then um some of the quicker prescriptions that go like these need to be refilled again and then obviously the very expensive ones but those are gonna take a minute but anyway um yeah i'm gonna keep playing keep making money keep refilling the shelves and once something exciting happens we'll be back